YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage back on Total War Rome 2, this time in the online replay. Sorry I didn't have any the last few days. I uh, had been going up to family's house for 4th of July. I had a good time. I hope you all enjoyed that weekend as well. And if you didn't celebrate it, just hope you had a good good weekend. Uh, and hope you all enjoyed the uh, Road to Independence campaign, even though you know, I was kind of noobing my way around it. It should be a lot of fun to go ahead and finish. Uh, I've got a replay here for you, the Sparta versus Rome. I've had a lot of questions about, I mean, like, I say a lot of questions. I think I've seen questions like, Air, does Sparta have any chance against Rome? And the answer to that is it depends on whose hands each faction is in and how they choose each army. So Sparta has one strength, which is the very cost-effective Spartan Hoplites. They can stand up to light sword infantry, maybe even medium sword infantry if they're lucky, um, but they're going to die to heavy sword infantry like Romans in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Also in the patches where they made Spartan hoplites more powerful, Sparta got access to better skirmishers, including Cretan archers, Rhodian slingers, and then their Perioikoi peltas took a bit of a buff in their armor, um, and so they became a stronger unit as well. Now Sparta still very much lacks cavalry, and that is their, a certain weakness for them. So, I don't typically pick Sparta versus Rome. It's not a smart matchup. Uh, Rome, for the most part, will just absolutely trounce Sparta. I picked Sparta this time because my opponent said he was new. And a lot of times when my opponent tells me they're new, I'm not going to go pick a faction that I you know, think is going to make me look really strong. I'll pick a really weird faction, one that'll probably make me lose, actually. Because I think it makes the battle more interesting. Um, I don't want to go against a new player, and again, not like I'm great, but I just I feel like it maybe evens the playing field a little. So my opponent's got a ballista, and he's opened up on me with explosive shot. He probably would have been more effective here with just standard shot, because the explosive, uh, although it has a bonus versus infantry, it doesn't roll and damage quite as many men. Explosive can be good against low armored units. So anyway, I'm using my uh, cavalry here to threaten my opponent. Um, let's go into slow motion just real quick and I'll kind of show you what I'm doing here. Uh, again, my opponent's new so he makes some mistakes that I can kind of introduce you all to. This cab charge here was just a distraction. See how it's already pulled one of his units out of play? And then this cab charge here is just intended to swing around and take out a skirmisher. So my opponent went all infantry with Rome. And against Sparta that's not a massive risk because they don't have any, uh, any real threatening cavalry. But it, what it means is that it's not likely you're going to be able to protect your skirmishers. So, if you were going to go no cav against Sparta, part of me would almost recommend that you just don't bring skirmishers that you have to protect, or at least keep them inside of a box at all times with your Triari or something. There's nothing that Sparta could do um, to get around that. So, but yeah, you can see how I already swung around, and I'm already threatening this expensive uh, auxiliary Syrian archer, and then there's more of them here. Valeric slingers and archers, all of them can be threatened. And see how I'm wheeling two more cav around here. So basically what this is going to prove that especially when you're new and you're not used to giving commands, this kind of thing can uh, be very difficult to defend against. And at this point, my um, Citizen Cavalry, which isn't particularly powerful, now it's a, it's a great utility unit. It's just not particularly powerful, but it's, it's definitely going to get um, a lot of kills in this type of scenario. And see how his general's already at risk too. And I have a plan here. And so I, I really don't want to face Rome head on. Now, unloading a whole bunch of javelins head on wouldn't be a bad deal. But look how I pull up a battle line at a diagonal to his own. See how his battle line's this way. And the reason I want to do that is because I want to focus fire my Peltist at one unit at a time and do as much damage to them. And basically, all I need with my Peltist is to kill that part of the Roman unit that my uh, infantry cannot. Which means that I need to kill um, a little less than half of um, this infantry unit. And then my Spartans can probably go head to head with them. Not an ideal thing, but that's what I can do. And then uh, where it's open to me, I'll use rear charges with my cavalry. Uh, my Spartan Hoplites, though, still taking quite a beating. Um, and then there's some point-blank artillery fire coming from those Ballista. It's actually doing a pretty good number on my Cav. So I have to charge them from behind with another unit of Citizen Cav. I'll finally silence that Ballista. You can see my opponent's still chasing me with the Legionary Cohort. And while he's busy there, I'm doing a lot of damage to him up front. You can see this Legionary Cohort down almost 40 men. And I've killed him some kills on the others. And each time he moves his lines, um, it allows me to uh, break him up a little. So see right here, I just go into Phalanx real quick while he's charging, and then I can, oops, I can swing into the back of his men here and outflank him, or just catch him off guard, and see how I'm swinging a Periokoi Hoplite out here to threaten him, and then I think uh, I've got a cheap Hoplite unit down here somewhere, like a Spartan Youth. So yeah, see, the Spartan Youth is just plugging the gap, um, putting some threat on the skirmishers. 
Yeah, so my opponent's going to go ahead and charge me. Like I said, I've got my guys in uh, Hoplite Phalanx, which doesn't necessarily make them kill more. It just makes my guys harder to kill. Um, so that, that's really all it does. Don't expect a, a Spartan or a hop, Hoplite Phalanx to make your guys kill more. Again, it'll just make them last longer in the fight. Sometimes they kill less. Um, just kind of depends on the scenario, but the fight will last for quite a long time. It'll take Roman infantry probably like four to five minutes to cut down a Spartan Hoplite and Phalanx. Um, so it's not an easy task, and this allows my uh, my units to do some outflanking. Here comes my heroes of Sparta. They're going to get behind this uh, legionary cohort, and you can see that that effect is already um, hitting them. And instead, I decide to charge this legionary cohort with two uh, two Spartans. One of them is my heroes of Sparta unit. So I'll let you watch my Spartans take these Romans head to head. The Heroes of Sparta is a tough unit. Um, it just doesn't have a whole lot of men in it, so you got to be careful. And these Romans over here stabilize when the general came around. And you can see that uh, my Citizen Cap has done a pretty good job of getting rid of most all of his uh, cavalry. And check this out, the Spartan youths here holding up a legionnaire. Legionaries, I should say. Some of you might get mad at me. So yeah, they're holding up some legionaries there. Yeah, Citizen Cap chasing down his men. Yeah, so let me uh, give you a quick overhead. See how the battle's gotten kind of nasty in the middle? It's allowed me to uh, outflank his men. I'm the red ones on this map, too. Again, here you can see his skirmishers getting run down by my citizen cab. And then here in the middle, look at my uh, my Periokoi Peltast. See how they've now got a flank angle, and I uh, managed to hit the unit that was winning, and I've now uh, taken that fight down quite a bit. They may still win it, but I've basically uh, now increased the amount of time that that fight will take. So, Sparta versus Rome. Here's the here's the simple truth, but your infantry can't take theirs head-on. And if they bring Evacati Cohort, you're in even bigger trouble. Um, it'll be good in the sense that they can't bring as many as they can with Legionary Cohorts uh, or Principes, but uh, they'll cut your men down faster. So really it's just time is the name of the game, Sparta versus Rome. You have to be able to buy time, and then typically you're going to have to use your skirmishers from there. The threat that you're going to be facing is cavalry, and being able to deal with them with just Citizen Cav is difficult. However, Sparta has access to a number of cheap hoplite units, and they can support your citizen cav. That's probably going to be your best bet. Check out the Spartan youths out here. Patchy has no problem sending the youths of Sparta to die. They're going to die one day or another. They get absolutely hacked to bits by those legionaries, but um, legionaries, but they still uh, put up a, quite a fight. You can see my Periokoi Peltast. Uh, some of them not even that many kills. Kind of just depends on what they've had time to do, but here and there, the uh, the kills from the Periokoi Peltast are enough to get the job done. And then I'm just uh, crunching the Romans like in an outflanking maneuver wherever I can. I actually took my Spartans out of formation attack here so as to just completely collapse on the Romans. And it's actually kind of working there. We managed to route that unit, and then the rest of the Roman units are now routing as well. Still got a lot of uh, Citizen Cav alive, it's just been hunting skirmishers the whole time looking for rear charges like that, but it's too late at this point. So, not going to be often that you win a Sparta versus Rome, and the only reason I did here is because my opponent was new. Um, so if he would have selected some uh, some cavalry rather than those four first cohorts, for instance, I would have had a lot more difficult time beating him. Uh, the Ballista would have bought him uh, a couple more infantry units as well, which probably would have been more than I could handle. Uh, so yeah, I, I think that you know it's not that hard to beat Sparta as Rome. And again, I, I like taking these challenges sometimes whenever I play against a new player just because I feel like it's kind of a way to, to level the playing field a little. You don't have to do it when you're online. It's just something that I choose to do because, for instance, if my opponent here had picked Rome and then I had brought Bactria with some Thorax Swords and Armored Elephants and Bactrian Cab, I mean, it, it, it just it's too easy. Um, and so that's the reason why I think it's kind of fun to choose these other ones. Um, and then sometimes I'll just do that anyway. Whenever I'm playing someone, I'll just pick a faction that I don't really think is that good, just for the sake of the challenge. Because uh, you know, I, I play the games to win. Like I, in a way, I want to win, but winning's not, not you know, like the only thing that's important. Sometimes having fun doing it is the uh, the most important thing for me. Because like I've always uh, told the people who know me that if I'm not having fun when I'm playing a g video game, then it's a complete waste of time. Because that's what a video game's for. But hey, good game to my opponent. Uh, I know you were new there, but uh, I mean, it's always lessons you got to learn when you're new. I mean, you can see some of his infantry did pretty well, all things considered. However, in in a large funds battle versus Sparta, you would want to see your uh, legionnaires hopefully getting more kills than that. But Spartan hoplites are tough. Um, their stats are good. In fact, we can go look at them real quick just so I can show you. I mean, the, the Spartans do have good stats, but they're very weak with cavalry. 
Um, but, again, you have a lot of hoplites to assist you against cavalry. Just not typically going to be really good against sword factions. So if we look at the stats on him, 44 attack is really good for hoplites. That's higher than picked hoplites. I, their weapon damage could be better, and probably should be a little better, since they're Spartans. Um, they would need to increase their cost just a, a little bit, I think, if they increase their weapon damage. But they have a great bonus versus large. They have a strong charge bonus, good melee defense, good armor, good health, good base morale. So it, it's for the price, it is a good unit, and um, probably one of the better for the price infantry units in the game. Again, doesn't mean it's going to stand head-to-head -head against sword infantry, but it's not easy for them to kill. And uh, a non-formation attack sword unit, for instance, might have a pretty hard time chopping down the Spartans. Kind of just depends on the unit, and you'd have to do some testing with it. Again, don't recommend these guys versus Rome in general, unless you're just looking for a particular challenge. Um, they could be interesting against pike armies, since you can still bring a lot of Spartans for about the same price people would bring in, you know, the decent pikes. You could outflank, that would be interesting. They have good skirmishers. I mean, there's definitely some interesting possibilities with Sparta, but again, they're a somewhat limited faction, as we would expect, I think, from what we know about Sparta historically, but definitely fun to play with, and I actually really like these guys in campaign, too. They're a fun faction to play in campaign, so if you don't have the Greek stakes pack, they're a pretty fun one to play, and Athens is, too. Anyway, Heir of Carthage, signing off for now.